Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. It's Friday. It has been all week that we have been coding, converting ICD-9 diagnoses to ICD-10. Okay guys, so I gave you three examples on yesterday. So let's minimize and let's look at our answers for those three from yesterday. Let's see how well you did. Minimizing my box here. Okay, let's get started. Number four was pernicious anemia. Patient is admitted with pernicious anemia. So again, knowing your diagnoses, you know pernicious anemia is a type of anemia. So you're under main term anemia. Your final code is D51.0. D51.0. Number two, patient admitted with Cooley's anemia. Again, another type of anemia. So you're under main term anemia, and we're looking for Cooley's, and your code is D56.1. All right, and the third one. This one was a little tricky because with this one, we've got a late effect. So patient today. It says here, patient is admitted with mild mental retardation due to an old viral encephalitis. So patient today has mild mental retardation, which is F70. That's the condition they have today. But it's due to an old viral encephalitis. The key here is old. So they don't have this condition, this viral encephalitis today, but they had viral encephalitis in the past. So we gotta make our coding say, today they have this because of something they had in the past. So we wouldn't code viral encephalitis today as if it is a condition today because they don't have it. Today they have the mild mental retardation. So we've captured the mild mental retardation. Now we need to make our coding say, due to old viral encephalitis. And when you code a late effect, you look up the main term sequela. Sequela, and if I go to the main term sequela, and I know that the viral encephalitis is an uh, infectious disease, then I go under sequela, infectious disease, but this one is specified. It is viral encephalitis. So when I go under sequela, infectious disease, then I grab the one that identifies it, it's specified as B94.8. B94.8. So make sure you identify that this is not a condition that they have today, but because they had this in the past, today they have mild mental retardation. And that's exactly what my coding says. All right. I wanted to leave you some practice over the weekend to just continue to practice with because I figure Monday we'll start CPT. But what I think I'm going to do Monday is I'm losing you guys. I'm losing my, my viewers. So I think what I'm going to do Monday is just do a summation of what we've done in I-10, answer the next three questions that I'm going to give you, and then Tuesday we'll start CPT or we'll figure out where we're going to go from here. Your, your views on these videos will let me know whether or not you want to keep this going or, or you just don't want to code. You don't want to code because the views aren't coming in. But just for practice, I'd like you to look at number seven. It says a patient is admitted with anxiety with depression. Again, these were ICD-9 codes, but I don't want the ICD-9. I want to convert these to ICD-10 CM. If you were to convert anxiety with depression and code it in ICD-10, what code do you get? Same thing with number eight. A patient is diagnosed with psychogenic paroxysmal tachycardia. Again, these are the ICD-9 codes, which we're not really worried about, but I want to get the ICD-10 codes. So if you were to code these in ICD-10-CM, what code would you come up with for psychogenic paroxysmal tachycardia? And number nine, let's do this last one. Patients admitted with latent schizophrenia chronic with acute exacerbation. All right. How will we code this in ICD-10-CM? And remember this week, I'm converting ICD-9 conditions because here your choices are in ICD-9. 
we don't code an ICD-9 anymore in the United States. We code an ICD-10. So again, code the following three, anxiety with depression, psychogenic paroxysmal tachycardia, and latent schizophrenia, chronic with acute exacerbation. Okay, guys, that's it. I will see you on Monday. If you want to keep this going, somehow let me know, because otherwise I'm going to stop doing the practice coding and move on to other things like the um, summation of our magazine articles, just talking about coding in general, talking about coding life or et cetera. So guys, let me know what you want. Your views are letting me know. All right, guys, thanks a lot. I will see you in my next video. Thanks, guys.